the uh, cylindrical magnetic antenna. And so here you see, um, so that is something I invented uh, uh, personally, uh, uh, in inspired by all the old techniques before me. Huh? Uh, I uh, improved it a little bit. And you see, um, uh, it's just a, a row of magnets uh, that I uh, put, uh, uh, that I improved uh, with beeswax and, and, uh, and a circuit also. And, um, and this is connected to a uh, galvanized steel wire and that you can put on top of the soil or you can put it in the soil. It's even better in the soil. And, um, and so you, you, you put the, the magnet oriented with the compass, with the earth magnetic field. This is very important, otherwise it will work. It has to be in resonance with the earth magnetic field. It acts like a collector, like a, you have a radio that, that collects the radio waves in a certain way, uh, that captures it. Uh, you have here uh, like a natural uh, radio for the earth magnetic field. And then you see on top the image uh, in, in my garden, it was a little test I did, but I did it already now also in very big fields with farmers. You see on, on the left, the, the potatoes and eggplant uh, that grow a lot bigger, uh, they are growing uh, with that uh, antenna. Uh, inside the soil and at the white you see the same potato plants and eggplants a lot uh, uh, less uh, 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 more little uh, because uh, they don't uh, benefit of that uh, magnetic energy. You see then you have just to put you can do by hand you can make uh, like trenches like this uh, in the soil and put the wire or you can also do it with a machine now i developed also machines for agriculture to uh, put uh, wires in the soil to, to uh, transmit and fertilize uh, the earth an example that was in a big field of three hectares of, uh, of of a farmer in north of Germany, and you see parsnip. Parsnip, it's it's a plant that is uh, quite difficult to grow at huge scale, and uh, you see on the left a lot more um, uh, vegetation of parsnip uh, uh, on the field with uh, with uh, a cylindrical um, magnetic antenna. And on the right, less. And, and when he measured the nutrient content, uh, he had 23% more essential oil in the parsnip. So that gives you an idea. It was the plants were a lot bigger. Uh, he had never had so much uh, yield than, than with uh, those uh, electroculture antennas. And but at the similar at the same time, the 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 quality was also a lot better. So maybe you ask yourself, ah, oh, maybe it will work uh, uh, only in Europe, but here's an image of Brazil on bananas. And you see on the right, uh, on top, you see on the right, a row of uh, big, big banana plants, uh, trees growing, and in the middle, the, the bananas are still little. The only difference, they were planted at the same time, it's that the row on the right is with a cylindrical magnetic antenna. So they grow like two times faster. And below you see the, uh, uh, the same, you see the, the picture below. In the middle, we have the, the, mag the, the cylindrical antenna in the earth and on the sides not. And you see that the further away you go from the middle, the, the, the more uh, little are the banana trees because of that mm. so this is the place where they do it already it's a huge uh, farm in uh, brazil where they do it already since five years uh, also i have different kind of magnetic antennas uh, that, so i show you two two pictures there uh, also the carrots the carrots you see on the right also a big carrot and on the left little carrots so in the past at that farm the carrots were always a little like this because of the soil and when i put uh, 
the magnetic antennas, uh, they become really huge because magnetic fields are very important for good plant growth and fertility. Another example is on corn. Here they, they collect like 20 tons a hectare of corn in place in comparison with the control field that was seven to eight tons a hectare. That this was in Italy. Here that was in France uh, on cabbages. You see on top the cabbage field growing a lot faster than uh, below. Uh, and it was also with magnetic antennas. Here, this was a cabbage field in Germany. You see on the left, the two pictures on the left, you see uh, uh, that the, the color of the, of the cabbages, the leaves are not so green, uh, less green than on the right. On the right, this is the same soil. Yeah, you have to understand that we didn't change anything with the fertilizers. We just put electroculture with it. And you see that even with the same soil, the, the cabbages grow a lot better. They, have, they, they are full of nutrients, uh, very healthy plants. And on the left, you would think that uh, they, they lack of something uh, because of, of the, the color of the leaves. But no, it's just uh, because uh, on the right, uh, they, they are with. Um, on the field with uh, cylindrical magnetic antennas. Also on wheat fields, you see a huge difference. You see the difference. It's also more than double yield. Huh? If you see the, the grains are a lot bigger and, and 